Let's go, baby! Shaking and baking, Bruno to the corner! Touchdown! Down the sideline, still on his feet, and Rodriguez takes it the distance! The first ever state title for Queensberry. Hi, everybody. I'm Marissa Jacks, and welcome to New York State Champions, only here on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Over the next 30 minutes, we're going to take a look back at a very special high school football season for the Queensberry Spartans. It began back in mid-August and took the Spartans all the way to the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, where they won a Class A New York State Championship. It was the first ever state championship in football for the Spartans. They finished their season 13-0. We'll take a look back at their dream season when New York State Champions returns. Welcome back to New York State Champions. At the beginning of the season, the Queensberry Spartans said they knew there was something special about this group. They had a really good senior class who made sure everyone was in the weight room throughout the offseason, and they all had one goal in mind to start, their first perfect regular season since 2004. Yeah, you could see right from the beginning, this was a very dedicated group. Um, we, we had a lot of kids coming in the summertime in the weight room. Um, and it was, it was a little bit different feeling, and it's kind of hard to describe, but they were kids that um, they were really together. Uh, usually in a, a group, that large group of kids, there's a lot of different factions. Uh, this group really was, was together. Well, I can tell in the weight room in the summer that uh, they seemed very focused, very directed to what our goals were. And uh, they... I hadn't seen that in a long, long time from some of my teams, and there was probably 35, 38 kids in there all the time, varsity kids. It's also what let me realize I was going to have more kids out than we had before. And it was just contagious atmosphere. It really started to be set in motion in the offseason when we started uh, doing all the weight training. I mean, not all the guys were uh, doing it together, but um, like whereas some of us would be in the weight room after school, some of us would uh, go to the Y, some of us would. Uh, just do that sort of stuff together, and we all stayed busy. And then um, when uh, the season rolled around, we were all ready to go, and we had that initial uh, head start, I guess, on the season, so we were ready to go. I think there was a pretty big test for you guys right out of the gate, week one, taking on Troy High, a team that you guys hadn't been able to beat before. You come out, mm -hmm. I think this, the final was 40-22. to 22. Uh, After that game, did you kind of know, oh yeah, we, there is something really here? We knew it was going to be a really tough week one game and we just wanted to prove a point to everyone and hopefully gain the respect that we deserve and we knew how physical of a football team they were and our coaches were telling us throughout the entire summer that week one this is going to be one of the toughest games all year. It's going to be tough, it's going to be physical, so we needed to be just as physical and show them the rest of the section back that we could hit just like anyone else and be a contender for our division. I think that this team has believed in itself since day one or even over the past years that we knew that we had a chance. We knew that Queensbury had never beaten Troy, but that doesn't mean that this team is never going to beat Troy. So we were able to take the advantage of the fact that it was week one and we ended up beating a very Troy, which is a very school very rich in football history. So that meant a lot to us. You guys had a tough schedule throughout the regular season um, and it, it didn't really slow much at all. Uh, I believe it was week four you go in and take on Burn Hills a team that was going for six straight sectional championships. You find yourself down 14 points in that game. Was it ever in doubt that this group could come back on Burn Hills? People don't usually do that. Well, that was probably when we started realizing what we could do. Our defense was probably the best defense I've had since I've been here. And we knew that we were starting to move the ball. We made some adjustments, but they're a good team. so. For us to make the adjustments took a little longer against them, uh, but it was predicated on the defense stopping them and giving us a chance to do that, and they kept doing that. I could say that would be a starting point of the season. The Troy game was, was absolutely huge for us and got us on track. 
But as everyone said, you know, Troy's down this year. We, we heard everything. Um, you know, they're not as physical as they usually are, which, I mean, we didn't want to believe any of that, but it, enough people say it, it's, it's in the back of your mind a little bit. Um, so for us to be down to Burnt Hills, um, at that point when we went down two scores, we were also down without Phil Wetterston. Um, starting linebacker goes down. It seemed like all the chips were starting to fall, and uh, it, 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 we just pulled together. Um, I think that's what, a huge part of our season is, is the kids have never gotten completely down. Um, whether it was that game or getting ready for uh, the state final, everybody's always been at an even keel. You know, back to business. Let's do what we have to do. Fast forward now to the end of the regular season. You guys beat Gloversville, uh, a game that you won pretty easily. But how important was it to go through the regular season undefeated for you guys and to do this for Coach Erian? Uh, Queensbury hadn't done it since 2004. We, we knew going into the game that the way that the seeding worked out, we, we had the top seed. So we, um, there was never really a decision. We just came out like we would any other week. We prepared, we watched film, we game planned, and we went into it like it was just another week. And um, the way that the game turned out, obviously, was a result of all of our hard work. But um, after the game was over, just to be sitting 7-0 uh, and 0 was a really nice uh, place to be and going into the playoffs. It was really nice. Coming up, the playoffs heat up for the Queensbury Spartans as they meet a familiar foe in the Super Bowl. All that and more when New York State Champions rolls on right after this short break, only on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Your coach always has that hat on. Now, what do you, first of all, what are your opinions of the hat? What do you think of it? It just sort of is, I guess, at this point. Um, there's not much to say about it. I mean, I've thrown it on a couple times and I've gotten yelled at for it, so. I think it's it's him. It signifies Coach Erian. He's had it for a very long time. And whenever you see somebody in the hat, that's Coach Erian. You don't, it's, there's no mistaking who he is. I love it. We all love it. We just, that's who he is. It makes him who he is. He's different from everyone else. Back when I coached in Central Square out in Syracuse, I just wore, I, we went to Disneyland and, and I got a hat. It was an Indiana Jones hat and I wore it um, for that summer because it was hot and I wore it to the, to the beach when we went to the beach on vacation. And, uh, and we, won a f we won a few games when I was, had it and then I, I didn't have it. And the kids were like, why aren't you wearing that? And I said, it's a hat. And they said, no, 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 you gotta get that hat. So they made me wear it. So it's taken on a life of its own, I think, with the hat. Welcome back to New York State Champions, only on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. The Queensberry Spartans ran into a familiar opponent in the Super Bowl. Now the first time around, it was a tight game. They had to come from behind against Vern Hills and beat them by just one point. The Super Bowl went right down to the wire and led Queensberry right into the New York State Tournament where they won easily in their quarterfinal matchup and then faced another tough opponent in Cornwall in the New York State Semifinal. There was definitely a good amount of doubt surrounding us, but in the in the core of um, the actual team itself, we were ready to go. I mean, you could, like um, uh, each day, someone would bring in like this new poll from TimesUnion.com with Burnt Hills uh, like 70% predicted to win and all that stuff, and uh, it really uh, motivated us. And um, our coaches, are, are, we're not actually sure, but. Um, Someone uh, printed out some online discussion about the Burnt Hills game, and it was just like, Burnt Hills wins handily 34-12 and all this other stuff, and that sort of uh, lit a fire up underneath us. Neither team had had an easy time scoring in that game, but you guys marched down the field. Uh, tell us about that last drive and what was going through the huddles at that point. Um, we just wanted to stick to what our basic plays. I think we didn't run, we maybe ran six plays, six of our like basic plays, and we just wanted to, we didn't try passing. I think we passed maybe once, and I don't know, everything was just hurry up, hurry up, gotta beat the clock. Pitch, cutting up field, breaking free, Bruno, shaking and baking, Bruno to the corner! Touchdown, 118 to go! Cody Bruno, 21 yards. Queensbury takes the lead. Trailing late in the game, you get the ball. Big moment again. You're kind of like big play Bruno. Do you always get the ball when, when the game's on the line? Uh, no, we have our rotation, and I just 
a lot of times I'd say to the coaches that I was fresh because I wasn't playing a lot of defense towards the end of the year. So I was like, Coach, give me the ball. I can, I got it. I'll make it happen. Uh, we were on the far sideline, so uh, you can't really see like uh, they could on their sideline. But um, when we run our sweeps, it's sort of you just see the guy drifting out and drifting out and drifting out, and um, you just hope that he doesn't step out of bounds because you can't really have the angle. But he just kept going, so we were we were like, Come on, come on, come on. And then he um, he got into the end zone, and then the place just lit up. You know, to to get through that game and to get out of section two is, is the hardest thing you know for us to accomplish is is just getting out of section two so beating them once was great but getting to be able to do that again uh, in the fashion that it happened was was tremendous it was awesome we were cloud nine i think almost until sunday and then back to the drawing board they are going for it and they are going to get it with rodriguez who's got the first down and more one man to beat down the sideline still on his feet and rodriguez takes it the distance an amazing run from brett rodriguez of 59 yards you, you won pretty handily in the first round of the state tournament second round we go to the semifinals you go to deet stadium and it was the difference of two teams you guys run dominant, they were a pass dominant team. Now I know their quarterback, Mike White, went out with an injury, but they had a backup quarterback who seemed to be just as good. Mm -hmm. uh, a back and forth game, uh, tight. I think Cody put it away again late, but um, how much did you enjoy that game and enjoy playing in that atmosphere where everything was on the line? It seemed like every second. Well, my uh, stress level was pretty high, so I guess you could say I enjoyed it, but it was, uh, we, knew, we knew how potent their offense was. And if our defense didn't do enough to hold them down, we would have been in trouble. But they also hadn't seen double wing. So you can tell when people go through a certain evolution of, of what they try with double wings. You know, they, they start with this, and I usually see this and this. And, and that's what we were seeing from them. They didn't see that. And they were very physical defense, but they just didn't know how to stop that. So luckily, you know, it looked like it would be who's going to score last. But luckily, our defense held on tight. and. You know, stop that extra points, it was good. Thomas goes in motion. Bailey rolling right, where is he gonna go? Middle of the field, deflected away, incomplete. Great job on defense by Mitchell Crispins. That was a great play. Every team that we've talked to about you guys and about that double wing offense, they say it's so difficult, we can't simulate it in practice. That's part of the problem that everybody has so much trouble defending it. Why throughout your career have you made that the staple of your offense and why have you decided to stick with that as the offense? Well, I first started that when I got to Queensbury. I didn't run that before where I was 15 years out in the Syracuse area. Uh, I was running an unbalanced power eye type thing. Actually, I ran, did run and shoot my very first year. Um, but I found that I wanted something that I, was, I didn't get to Queensbury till June. And they had a meeting, so I really didn't get them till July, and I wanted something that was easy to understand, not easy to do necessarily, but it was one that the kids would be able to pick up. They'd be able to double team. I didn't really know what kind of talent I had, so the double teams and the things in this offense allows uh, maybe not quite as good athletes at times to help each other with double teams in the way, way that works. But they were very athletic when I got here anyway, so. It just is something that I, I think you can develop off it. You can do a lot of things off it, but I think it's a great base, and I think it makes our defense tougher because they have to go against us during practice. The Queensberry Spartans are off to the Carrier Dome in Syracuse to play for a New York State championship and looking to bring home the hardware for the first time ever in school history. New York State Champions continues right after this. Welcome back to New York State Champions, only on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. For the Queensberry Spartans, a win over Cornwall in the New York State semifinal took them all the way to the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, where they took on Williamsville North out of Section 6. Now, Williamsville North, really the Cinderella team of the state tournament. They had three losses on the season, but still found themselves at the Carrier Dome. And while they may have been surprised to be there for Queensberry, it was business as usual. 
The kids going into that game, was it was a, a funny feeling, you know. You'd think they were going to be real nervous. Um, and right from the start, they were confident. Once they got to that building and they, they went in and took a quick look around, especially the younger kids, and that was it. They were focused on the game at that point. You walk in there and you're a little bit awestruck, but Mr. Adam Terry was one of our previous NFL players that we had, and he said to us, the person who's going to win this game is the person who walks into this place and decides to look at the field rather than the ceiling first, which is very true. When you're, when you're st uh, um, starstruck looking at the ceiling, you, you realize you need to bring it back together and focus on what you've got to do and beat the team that you're playing because that's all for a state championship. Just to be on that field and to have uh, the level of energy that was present in the place was was crazy. I mean, they had their uh, the squall or whatever they call them or whatever other uh, student section calls themselves, and we had a huge supporting uh, fan base, which was amazing. I mean, alumni, current pla or current, past, future, all every like the whole town was there, and it was really nice. And just before the game even started, you could tell that it was a special day. Goody back to Minot behind Switzer. Goody straight up the middle for the score. Christopher Goody caps an all-ground opening drive for Queensbury. Low snap to Steinwachs, and it's blocked. Scoop and score, touchdown. Well, the state semifinal game was tight. Uh, the championship game really was never in question. You guys came out right from the get-go, were focused and dominated. Did you expect a performance like that in the state championship game? Here are the only two teams left in the state in Class A. Um, we weren't sure. We knew they were going to be a tough team. They they executed well, and we always knew that they they always came back from. That's what we had been hearing. They kept coming back late in games and putting teams away. And, so we just wanted to take the lead early and put it to him and the whole time. Fake it to Hughes, over the middle, intercepted. Picked off by Wetterston. Majewski, look out. Nasavera is after him, and he's got him. No, I didn't expect us to dominate. I thought it would be more of a Cornwall type game where it could have gone back and forth. I think their team, you know, without taking anything away from them, I think their team was happy to be there. And I think our team had something they wanted to finish. So I think we were more focused the way they were all season. I think we were more focused and directed to, to let's put the cap on this. Fake the pitch. Switzer to throw. Got popped as he did. And got it away to Bruno. Touchdown. 40 yards. Been some losses in there. Rodriguez searches it. They count it down to the first ever state title for Queensbury. 36 to 7 over Williamsville North. Why was this one such an emotional win for this group? Well, most of this group has been together for a long time. We've had kids, some of the younger kids that have come up have been with us for our JV, our freshman, our last year's season. So it's a group of kids that have been together for a long time, and it's something that I think all of us have been working for ever since day one. So it was nice to be able to bring home a state championship for the community and for Coach Erie. It, it was sort of in the back of our heads that we had just played our last football game, but at the same time, we won a state championship. And I think. I think once it started to set in that we were state champions and that we were walking off that field, the victor, I mean, guys just started being so happy. I mean, the ride over to the um, spaghetti place where we ate was, um, guys were bouncing around the bus. We were all waving stuff and it was just uh, really exciting. I, I can't put it into words. It's, uh, it's, it's just tremendous the way that the, the amount of, you know, student athletes, so, so many things that have happened this year. Uh, whether an injury or different stuff that we've bounced back from, and it's phenomenal. I, I can't put it into words. Well, people think I'm humble with it, but I, I like it for the kids. I mean, on my way back, I'm already thinking about next year, so I'm sort of a process, uh, the journey kind of guy, and I like that, and I'm, I'm going to get the ring like the rest of them do. You know, they're going to get rings for that, you know, through the one company, but uh, I'll always look back at that and remember that. But I'm always thinking also about what's next. But uh, 
it's, it's the kids I'll remember the most, and they're, they're the ones that I have the most fun with. So, so for them to, I think they're going to be better people because of uh, because of what they did, working hard to achieve a goal, and seeing how happy they were when we did it. That that definitely affected. Welcome back to New York State Champions. The Queensbury Spartans experienced an unexpected loss of a teammate last season. And this season, the players and head coach John Erian say Jonathan Vasileo served as a constant source of inspiration. It, it, it was it was really nice. We didn't we didn't talk about much about him this season, like you said, but we knew going into it that he's always there. We have the numbers on the back of our helmets. Nobody ever forgot about him. Yeah, we didn't talk about it a lot just because we knew. I don't know we always we just knew he's with us. Last year, the main focus of the season was because it just happened and we were trying to get through it, which was tough to do, but, you know, dedicating our commitment to him. And this year was sort of behind the scenes. Everybody, everyone thought about him all the time, including myself, but it wasn't, it didn't drive every single game. We, they were very businesslike, but it was always in the back of our minds. So it was very, very nice because he would have been, he would have been the starting center right there and he would have been every bit and part of it. Thank you for joining us on New York State Champions for this very special look back on the season of the Queensberry football team. For our entire Time Warner Cable Sports Channel crew, I'm Marissa Jacks. We'll see you next time.